hello all welcome to learning station today we will uh, like uh, discuss how we can validate any request which is uh, coming from any client end or any kind of uh, any kind of indicated jar or any 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 things right which is trying to communicate particular microservices or any kind of any kind of things so for example like if we are having this kind of microservices which is having actually lots of apis and this particular microservice is responsible to do lot of things and this is indicated with some external vendor or any other any other front end uh, like front end uh, uh, means website so, so from there a lot of request is coming in a day right so if any request is coming and which having uh, some data that need to be validated before uh, storing data into the database so that validation can be done in a in a such way so that so that we don't need to write lots the boilerplate code means uh, so that it will the like uh, suppose uh, if we take one example so suppose if there is a one request which having some kind of first name last name address date of birth so the first uh, there is a two type of validations over there right one is the data validations another one is the like business validations so what is meaning this kind of data validations so data validation meaning like whatever the data actually it is coming so this data format and the data is valid or not if we are not checking this kind of uh, validations then in the DAO layer or maybe whenever we are putting data into the database on that time we will get some kind of exceptions or maybe if we are don't having those kind of validation in the database level also then it will store some garbage data so to avoid that we need to put some kind of validations so that whenever this those such kind of data is coming it will be filtered and more uh, means like uh, real data so that it, it will be stored into the database means not no garbage data is storing the database right so this is the main primary aim of this validations and what kind of the business validation so suppose if we are trying to create a new user and in the database we are having username is unique right so suppose there is a username is for example like test is the username and then it is we have one created one user test is already in the customer table now again if you are trying to create the same uh, another user with same username then it should throw this particular this username is already exists into the database so this is a kind of the business validation so here i am discussing about how we can like um, validate the data which is coming from any uh, third party api third party tool or third party uh, means front end uh, website or any kind of which is trying to integrate this particular ms so that how we are going to validate those things uh, validate those data so that we can store uh, like uh, pure and uh, uh, like uh, not garbage data actually we are not storing into the database so um, so for that i have actually already like created those kind of uh, one uh, uh, gradle uh, project actually so to enabling this uh, validator i have used this hibernate validator so let's uh, look at the validation so like sorry not validation dependencies what kind of dependencies i've used so for this creating process i've used this spring boot 3.1.0 and jdk 17 and as a dependency i used uh, starter web uh, Spring Boot starter validations as we are going to use the Hibernate validation. So this uh, dependency already having those uh, Hibernate validator tool and this common bin utils. So there is some certain functionalities. So that uh, I was going to use. So that's why uh, I have used this uh, jar and Lombok. So Lombok just to reduce uh, uh, the code for getter setter i don't uh, want to write those getter setter so to avoid that i use this lombok and this dev tools is just uh, live re reloading and this uh, test is for writing the JUnit test cases although uh, i have not used any kind of JUnit, just uh, for temporary uh, timing i am keeping this one it's not necessary for the time being okay now come to this coding part so here like i have created one uh, one controller which is having this uh, the basic uh, kind of structure over here suppose this is the one bin okay and this bin having this kind of parameters so what i am trying to cover over here so i've tried to like uh, put some scenarios like the single only the single string one then nested detail which is having some other fields 
and then again list of list of type detail and this type detail having some fields which is having dependent like if they are passing only the value or maybe the type then value should be over there so this kind of dependent validations i have also trying to uh, cover over here and uh, so doing so for this one i created uh, some kind of custom annotations like uh, check date format enum validator and the field match. this kind of 3d like custom annotations uh, i have created uh, for doing this kind of validations uh, just dynamically suppose the date format whatever the date is coming the format maybe can be different for different types of data right so those will be uh, validate dynamically we don't need to write it we just need to just pass the pattern over the inside of the any field whatever the date field is over there just i need to pass i will come into part of the letter whenever i going to the dto so uh, like uh, to enabling this uh, validations we need to use these two annotations one is the valid at the rate valid another one is the at the rate request body whenever in we are using this kind of uh, dto over here if we are not going to use this one then it will not actually happening the validation is not gonna happen actually so now uh, if uh, like uh, how it will happen uh, means nowadays there are a lot of annotations over there for putting this kind of a, like not null minimum at the rate mean at the rate max uh, at the rate size at the rate email at the rate pattern lot of actually uh, in means annotations over there for uh, validating the this kind of uh, fields okay so here actually this is a custom identifier which is actually having some kind of number fields we need to provide some kind of number maybe mobile number or anything uh, so for that i have used some kind of it should be first like it's not empty if it is empty then it will throw some kind of messages so as you can see like i am here putting uh, numbers how it will like throw the like uh, we can get the messages over there so i'll i will explain like how we will get this kind of uh, messages string messages in the cons means in the response body that i will explain and here like if i am putting some kind of number but the length should be 10 and it will be 0 to 9 so this is a, another kind of pattern that i have put it over here so if we are going to use some kind of nested detail then over here also we need to put some this kind of valid annotations else it will it will skip the validation for this one and uh, it should be not null and here like uh, this id transaction id should be not empty and this transaction date it is also not empty with that addition of this validation also it will checking date format how it will check we need to pass this pattern and this pattern dynamically okay here actually this is the class actually this pattern is, is actually taking from this um, field level declarations this pattern and over here we are checking this pattern this pattern is valid or not if it is valid then it will find else it will throw means exception now over here here also if we, it is a nested list then also we need to this kind of annotation we need to use here also uh, actually this is type so it is actually the enum validator means whatever the value will pass over here this particular value should be exist in the enum so how means for example this enum class is type class so whatever the value they are passing so this value should be inside available over here if we, such value we are passing which is not exist over here then it will actually throw some messages like it is please provide some valid type or something so how we have written this one so this is the like uh, custom annotation that i created and the implementation is like such a uh, this uh, constant means uh, for what we are doing uh, whatever the like enum we are passing so from the uh, from that enum actually this is the enum and that value actually we are putting over here value list and then checking like this particular value whatever the value is coming this value is uh, value list having this particular value or not so in that way we are uh, validating this enum and uh, the dependent validations there is uh, 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 like uh, there is another validation so this is the like validation is uh, dependent validation so as you can see this is the field match 
this uh, validations so first value is the type and second is the value this type and value how it is working so for that uh, like this validator is there this is the first field this is the second field this is the like first uh, object and this second object okay so if like first is not over there then second should be also double if it is those kind of validation is failed then it will it will fail those kind of uh, like it will throw some kind of exception over there so in such way we can also pick uh, like uh, uh, dynamically dependent validate uh, dependent fields we can validate in using this kind of uh, like uh, uh, this kind of validations or this kind of service uh, uh, this kind of custom annotation we can also validate those kind of dependent fields here that that field can be multiple like maybe three or four fields also can dependent each other so those kind of validation can be also done easily using this hibernate validator so these are the like pretty much of this validation so i have keeping just three four fields so that uh, not more than this one but try to cover the maximum uh, things that uh, whatever currently means uh, the possible situation that can happen uh, so based on that we have uh, i tried to cover these things now like how it is like uh, working so for that uh, let's uh, start uh, start this one okay Yeah, it started and it started in the 8080 port. Now suppose uh, if I click this one, so already I have created one request. So now like if we take this one, this type 4, 4 is not over there, right? So that's why it's throwing this please provide valid type. Okay. Now if I pass this as a 1, please provide valid customer. Anyway. So here like uh, we have passed no, okay it's not a string so that's why it's throwing this kind of exception right now if i okay now it's success because all are valid again same like if i um, uh, like not provide the date uh, date uh, invalid date actually then also it should uh, fire some kind of, yeah please provide valid transaction date okay so uh, this uh, uh, in this way actually we can uh, it is working so how it is happening actually so if i if we go means go through this uh, control api endpoint so here actually one parameter is passing binding result it is having this result the validation result if it is having some errors then we can filter out those field error and then accordingly um, so as you can see like uh, in the response body actually response we are getting this kind of messages and this body how it is happening so here we are passing as a message 1001 okay now here you can see here actually we will get those messages like 1001 and then based on this message we will get the actual listing messages from this enum based on the this code so accordingly like that's why we are getting this kind of messages over there okay now uh, so then accordingly if it is having the errors then accordingly the code accordingly we will get this uh, uh, this enum details and from here we will put set those enum code and message over here now so there are some another approach for handling this kind of ex exceptions so global exception okay so for that now uh, also we need to remove this binding result else the global exception will not occur okay so for that i created one actually this rest controller advice a class which is having this kind of method so if this kind of exception is occur actually method argument valid exception then those kind of exception come over here then from this exception actually we have taken all the results and then it will uh, collectively uh, stored into the list and then we are putting we have kept one like uh, uh, map which is having this existing an object and put those exception here 
so whenever any kind of exception is occur method uh, argument not valid exception, then those exception come over here and then we are showing this kind of exception in the response body as you can see over here no it's uh, not taken so i need to check sorry actually there is a no any exception means uh, all data are valid that's why it's uh, throwing 200 now let's try yes you can see the bad request and this uh, errors please provide valid custom identifier if any kind of any other uh, data is invalid for example the type let's see try to run this one yes two exceptions over here please provide valid type and then please provide valid custom identifier those two exceptions coming over here okay so in that way like we can also use this custom like instead of this one we can also use the global exception handler so that we can we can write a single method over here and from all the apis it will come over here so that we don't need to write this kind of code for every apis right this will be the like benefit of writing the global exception handler so either we can use this one also or global exception handler. either of this we can use so this is pretty much about like how we can validate uh, any bin or any request uh, using hibernate validator so that we can don't need to write those kind of validations uh, uh, just to avoid to write those kind of uh, only the basic uh, code or you can easily there are a lot of actually annotations over there uh, based on the annotation we can easily uh, like uh, we can write those use uh, using this kind of annotation we can easily avoid uh, to write uh, minimum like the basic logic for validating those kind of request data so this is about uh, uh, this validations hibernate validations and uh, if you uh, like this video feel free to subscribe thank you